Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to and today we are talking about the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories and with that being said, let's get right into it. Recently, the Dow Jones has closed at a record high while other major indexes have slipped recently. But don't let that get you down because a multitude of stocks, including NVIDIA, have had fantastic news recently, to where NVIDIA specifically kept inching higher and higher, and at one point they overtook Amazon in their market cap. That means that NVIDIA briefly became the fourth most valuable company listed in the United States, which is great news for stock investors in NVIDIA, or really any artificial intelligence stock. We also got some inflation data, which scared investors, but overall, I don't really think we need to pay attention to the inflation data, considering that the Federal Reserve will lower interest rates this year, which is going to be a phenomenal catalyst for the general stock market. In other news, there should be three major stocks on your watch list right now, and they are all oil and gas giants. Each of these oil and gas giants are buying another company, which could act as a very good catalyst for their respected share prices. The first company we're going to talk about is Diamondback Energy, and they have a phenomenal stock, and recently, this company announced plans to buy out Endeavor Energy Partners, which is the area's biggest privately held oil and gas producer, and they are doing this in an all-cash-and-stock deal valued at around $26 billion. Naturally, this will cause Diamondback Energy's stock price to fluctuate towards the positive side, so please pay attention to this. But that's not all. We also see ExxonMobil is snapping up Pioneer Natural Resources for a deal valued at $60 billion, while Chevron, which is another fantastic oil and gas company, is buying Hess for $53 billion. So there is a lot going on in the oil and gas industry, which is why you need to be paying attention to Diamondback Energy, ExxonMobil, as well as Chevron. I also want to quickly mention a cryptocurrency news story regarding Bitcoin. If you didn't know, the price of Bitcoin recently rose over $50,000 for the first time since December of 2021. It seems that Bitcoin has been winning back investor confidence, and this has been fueled by last month's decision by the US regulators to allow spot Bitcoin ETFs. This allows more traditional investors to buy into the digital currency without actually holding a Bitcoin, yet they still get to make money off of its price fluctuations. In the end, this has made Bitcoin more mainstream, which is adding to its general value. So if you are a cryptocurrency investor, clearly you should be following Bitcoin right now. But let's get back to the latest stock market news stories that you can use to trade off of to make loads of money. One of the stories that you should be aware of is JetBlue, and this is an airline company. JetBlue has been in the news a lot recently, and this is because they were going to merge with Spirit Airlines, but they are now in the news for a totally different reason. However, it's a very exciting reason, which is causing their share price to surge. Recently, a very prominent hedge fund manager revealed that he had taken a major stake in JetBlue as an airline stock. This has invigorated other investors to also buy into JetBlue stock, which has pushed it even higher. So clearly, feel free to trade off of the volatility of this stock and company. Next up in the news, we're going to talk about Amazon stock. And Amazon is known for their e-commerce platform, but they also own a plethora of other businesses. The reason why Amazon stock is in the news today is because their former CEO, who is Jeff Bezos, has been selling Amazon shares. Therefore, we could see some negative volatility in regards to Amazon's general share price, but I will continuously buy this company on weakness because they are in my top 10 holdings. Therefore, I would encourage you to look further into this company to determine whether or not it's right for your personal portfolio. We also have some news that could negatively impact stocks like McDonald's or other fast food chains. The reason behind why McDonald's and other fast food chains, including Pizza Hut and Subway, or even others like Wendy's, could be in trouble right now is due to hundreds of fast food workers in California specifically have recently joined forces to form a union. And this union is trying to raise the fast food minimum wage by 3.5% over the next three years, which honestly is very achievable. The union also wants to protect workers from unfair firings, and they want guaranteed shift hours for employees so they can actually make a living wage even
even if they work at a fast food restaurant. Now, honestly, this is good news for the people who are working at these fast food chains. However, the chains themselves are going to see a hit to the revenues and profits. But in the end, we're just going to have to see what happens with this development. And in the meantime, stocks like McDonald's could be quite volatile. We also have Elon Musk in the news, unsurprisingly, because Ukraine claimed that Russia is using SpaceX's Starlink internet terminals. Now, this is a very odd comment from Ukraine, considering that Elon Musk and the Kremlin have denied this accusation. What's even more strange is that Elon Musk actually donated SpaceX terminals to Ukraine to help in the war to keep their troops online and connected to one another. So this is an extremely odd accusation from Ukraine about Elon Musk. And since Elon Musk is a public figure who runs a multiplicity of companies, this could negatively impact publicly traded companies like Tesla, in which he is the CEO of that company. And if you've been watching our news updates, you know that Tesla's TSLA shares have been beaten down quite dramatically. However, even if Tesla's shares continue to drop, I will just be buying more because I believe this company is absolutely phenomenal. If you didn't know, Tesla is an electric vehicle manufacturer which specializes in energy storage and energy generation as well as artificial intelligence. So always make sure to do your own research before you make an investment in that company, but I absolutely love Tesla. Speaking about companies I love, let's talk about Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR. If you didn't know, Palantir Technologies is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies. And this company specializes in artificial intelligence, which is why their share price has been surging over the last few months. We've seen some big names invest billions in artificial intelligence. Just to name a few, Microsoft infused billions into a company called OpenAI, and Amazon and Alphabet are following suit by investing into Anthropic. But Palantir is taking a different approach because they are a standout in this industry and they have a unique lead generation strategy. You should also note that just last year, Palantir successfully hosted over 500 boot camps, and this caused their their private sector to absolutely explode in its growth rate. So it seems that this lead generation strategy is doing quite well for Palantir Technologies and especially their share price. You should also know that Palantir Technologies is a profitable company that has consistently passed the test of consistency in regards to their ability to continuously generate profits. Palantir's market cap is only around $51 billion, which barely scratches the surface of their industry, especially when we compare them with behemoths like Microsoft Microsoft or even Google. Palantir will continue to work on their artificial intelligence endeavors, and they want to show businesses just how valuable and beneficial their platforms can be for other agencies and companies. Right now, they currently trade for $24 per share, which is absolutely crazy. I've been reporting on Palantir ever since they were worth single digits, and no one believed me that this company would pop in their overall share price. But considering the company has already surged so highly, please remember to take profits off the table by practicing proper risk management. Don't be afraid to cash in some profits. Now, I am not advocating for you to sell your entire position in Palantir because I plan to hold this company for the long term. But considering that the company has already surged dramatically, by taking profits, you are practicing proper risk management and you are paying yourself. So feel free to do so. Speaking about artificial intelligence stocks and companies, let's talk about Nvidia, which recently had a very bullish price target from Mizuho. Nvidia is known for making GPUs and they also have other products which are known to be very useful and beneficial for those companies who want to use artificial intelligence. And investors are gravitating toward Nvidia today considering that their price target was raised from $625 up to $825 by a Mizuho analyst. This analyst is very bullish on Nvidia to where he says, and I quote, We continue to see NVDA as the best artificial intelligence slash machine learning play, pushing the tip of the spear in AI training. He goes on to say, we believe NVDA currently dominates the AI server market, and we expect it to maintain its significant market share. And to be quite frank, I agree with this analyst. However, I also think investors need to pay attention to at least two other companies in this regard. And the first one would be Broadcom, ticker symbol AVGO. Broadcom recently had their price target increased from $1,250 up to $1,450, which is great news. However, the company that I really like right now is advanced micro devices, ticker symbol AMD. 
AMD will ride the AI wave of success that Nvidia has already treaded for them, and they recently received a price target from the original $175 up to a price prediction of $200 per share, and Mizuo maintains a buy rating for both of these companies. Therefore, if you were to invest into Nvidia, Broadcom, and AMD, your portfolio could thank you, but again, always make sure to do your own research. Next up, we have Rivian stock in the news, and if you didn't know, Rivian is a startup electric vehicle manufacturer. Rivian Automotive, ticker symbol R-I-V-N, has recently seen their share price drop by around 5.82% recently, so let's talk about why that is. The main reason for the bearishness surrounding their stock price is due to analysts cutting their price targets for this company. But it seems that this company has already fallen substantially in their share price and right now could be a good buying opportunity. Because we have to remember that analysts have a shorter term investment horizon than the majority of long term investors. And for me, I am a long term investor. So when you see a price target of $16 per share on this company, it may not be accurate. That's why we need to take these price predictions from analysts with a giant grain of salt because the future could be radically different than what these analysts are projecting. Because clearly analysts are wrong, in my opinion, the majority of the time. I personally like to use analysts' forecasts as more of a guide and not actually what will happen to the share price. And even when I do that, I like to take into consideration the bullish and bearish price targets for any given company. And I also have to remember that these are short-term projections and I am a long-term investor, so I want to evaluate a company on their long-term prospects, not their short-term volatility. Despite Rivian stock being down today in their share price, they do have two upcoming catalysts. The first catalyst is that they are anticipated to release their fourth quarter 2023 financial results on February 21st, and the second catalyst is the release of their R2 electric vehicle, which is a more affordable offering or version of their R1. So investors may be wise to buy this company on weakness because if these catalysts work out, the share price could pop right after or directly before these catalysts. But again, always make sure to do your own research. Next up, we have Airbnb in the news, which is a very prominent rental platform. The share price of Airbnb has been very erratic recently, considering that they lost $349 million in the fourth quarter due to an income tax settlement with Italy. But despite that, their demand looks very strong and their bookings and revenue both rose. So investors clearly got mixed results here. In general, I think this company is pretty solid, considering that the company forecasted their first quarter revenue that would meet or beat Wall Street expectations. The CEO even said on a recent analyst call that they plan to perfect their business. Even as we speak right now, they are anticipating to build out a rental platform in countries that are not as traditionally strong as the United States. The company also plans to penetrate markets in Switzerland, Belgium, as well as the Netherlands. So this means that this company still has a lot of a global growth to do, which is going to be fantastic for early investors. We also have to remember that Airbnb is just getting started, and their rivals make a lot of money off of things like flights and rental car listings. And these are just new avenues that Airbnb could eventually get into. Airbnb will continuously try to add new revenue segments, and they are already very successfully competing with existing rivals. So that's why you should pay attention to Airbnb stock, ticker symbol ABNB. Next up, let's talk about Instacart, which had a huge tumble in their share price recently. Even though right now they're trading for around $27.85, and they've held up pretty decently, considering that they've already rebounded quite a bit. Maple Bear, also known as Instacart, ticker symbol C-A-R-T, ticker name CART, recently decreased in their share price. However, this company has a plan. Their CEO even said, and I quote, Today, we made Made the tough decision to part with approximately 250 of our talented team members. This will allow us to reshape the company and flatten the organization so we can focus on our most promising initiatives that we believe will transform our company and industry over the long term." End quote. Investors normally don't like to hear that a company is laying off their employees, but 250 employees would only approximate to around 7% of the company's current workforce. This has been the latest move from Instacart amid increased competition in the grocery delivery business from companies like Uber and DoorDash, and they also wanted to offset rising food costs, so with competition increasing and food prices rising, they had to lay off some employees to save some cost. 
But the news gets a little bit worse before it gets better, considering that three executives are leaving the company for personal reasons. But now let's jump to the good news. Because after digesting soft quarter four results, Wall Street responded pretty positively to the news that the company is restructuring and they want to make their company more profitable. Instacart also wants to further infiltrate their advertising business, which is going to do wonders for this company's top and bottom lines. Speaking about their top and bottom line, let's talk about their revenue and their earnings. For quarter four, the company reported a profit of 44 cents per share, which did not meet analysts' expectations from Wall Street because their estimate was that the company would bring in around 50 cents per share. So this was not good because they missed this estimate. Likewise, the total revenue of this company increased by 6%, which is pretty good. However, they missed estimates by 1.2 million by only bringing in $803 million. In general, this was not a positive earnings report, but it seems that investors are very excited about their future advertising business despite all of the negative catalysts that have happened for this company recently. But that doesn't mean that this company is not a good company. This company is still a very fundamentally strong company and I would encourage you to look further into them. Next up in the news, we have Lyft, which recently beat estimates for their quarterly profit. If you didn't know, Lyft is a ride sharing and a ride hailing company, which competes directly with Uber. Investors are currently overcome with enthusiasm surrounding this company because they said that they would generate positive free cash flow for the first time in 2024, and this is great news. To reach this end, the company plans to cut costs and compete with Uber even more aggressively. However, that is not particularly why the share price has surged. If you look at Lyft's share price, you saw originally that they surged and then pulled back very dramatically, and here's the real reason why that happened. Lyft incorrectly communicated in a statement that their key margin metric was expected to rise by 500 basis points this year, which caused their share price to absolutely surge. However, later on in a conference call, the CFO, which is the chief financial officer, had to correct this mistake stake because he said the forecast was for this to increase by only 50 basis points, not 500 basis points. And that's what caused the company to pull back in their share price after their initial surge. Just from the enthusiasm before the correction, the stock surged by 67% on this statement. And honestly, that would be well warranted, but clearly the statement was a complete mistake. Next up, let's talk about Robinhood, which is a brokerage company which operates a stock trading and investment platform. Robinhood Markets, ticker symbol HOOD, ticker name HOOD, recently jumped by 8.9% in their share price thanks to very impressive quarter four results and a surprise profit. Robinhood brought in Quarter four gap EPS of three cents on the positive side, which beat estimates, which said that the company would bring in a loss of one cent. The company also had very good news in regards to the revenue, considering that their quarter four net revenue increased to $471 million, which beat expectations of $452.8 million. Clearly, the CEO was excited to share these results, to where he says, and I quote, we are off to an even better start in 2024, as we have already brought in more funded customers and net deposits through the first half of Q1 than we did in all of Q4 2023, end quote. So this is really great news to hear from Robinhood, ticker symbol HOOD, which currently trades for around $11.84. Next up, we have Walmart in the news, ticker symbol WMT, which is in talks to buy the TV maker named Vizio. And if you didn't know, Walmart is one of the largest retailers, and I personally hold them in my portfolio. Walmart is currently in talks to buy the TV manufacturing company named Vizio. Vizio for around $2 billion. However, we do need to take into consideration that the discussions between Walmart and Vizio are ongoing and nothing has been officially finalized yet, meaning that the deal may not happen. You should also know that Vizio themselves have stock, even though I personally would much rather invest into Walmart stock. Vizio originally had their public offering back in 2021 at $21 per share, and right now they're currently trading for around $8 per share. So clearly Walmart is a far better company to invest into, and I believe if Walmart ends up buying Vizio out, this is going to increase the share price of Walmart just due to the momentum that normally happens after these types of acquisitions. The next stock market news story that we are going to analyze is in regards to Upstart's quarter four loss. 
Upstart Holdings, ticker symbol UPST, recently dropped by 24% in their share price, so investors are not happy about this. The reason why their share price has dropped so aggressively is because the company issued 2024 revenue guidance that did not live up to Wall Street expectations. If you're not familiar with Upstart, they are an AI or artificial intelligence driven lending company. In a nutshell, when people are overlooked through the FICO score system, which traditional banks and other lenders use, Upstart tries to use AI in their underwriting policies because they believe that they can identify very low risk individuals even if they don't have good credit. And Upstart makes money by providing AI-driven lending platform for banks and credit unions. However, the bad news comes in the form of their expected quarter one revenue of just $125 million. The reason why this is bad news is because this is substantially less than the $151.3 million consensus that Wall Street had for this company. Therefore, this radical underperformance has caused their share price to absolutely plummet. So I would be interested to know if you hold upstart holdings in your portfolio, because I certainly do not. I think they are very, very risky and I would like the company to mature a lot more before I decide or even think about investing in this company. Speaking about earnings results, we saw Datadog announce their fourth quarter fiscal year 2023 financial results and honestly they were pretty good despite the company pulling back by around 2.3% today. For the fourth quarter, they grew their revenue by 26% year over year up to $590 million. On top of that, the company also posted very strong customer growth numbers to where they originally had a 317 one million dollar ARR customers and now that number is 396 one million dollar plus ARR customers which is very good. For context, Datadog, ticker symbol DDOG, is a monitoring and security platform for cloud applications. And investors really need to be paying attention to this company because they are rapidly growing and expanding their business. The co-founder and CEO of Datadog even said this, and I quote, We are pleased with our strong execution in fiscal year 2023, with a 27% year-over-year revenue growth, $660 million in operating cash flow, and $598 million in free cash flow. He goes on to say, during 2023, we delivered over 400 new features and capabilities to help our customers deliver on their cloud migration and digital transformation plans. He even added that he is looking forward to 2024, that we are excited about our plans to deliver more innovation and help our customers with their needs in modern observability, cloud security, software delivery, and cloud service management, end quote. So overall, this has been a very good development, but the best development in my opinion, is their strategic partnership with Google Cloud. This partnership enables Google Cloud customers to proactively observe and secure their cloud native and hybrid applications within Datadog's unified platform. And for me, that was a great strategic opportunity to do business with Google Cloud. And that's why I'm very excited about the future of this company. So currently they are on my watch list. You should also know that Roku stock has crashed by around 8.76%. So they have a lot to prove this week. Roku is one of the companies that are set to release earnings this week, which means we are going to see either their share price jump higher or fall lower. To give you some background, Roku shares have soared by 60% since the company delivered blowout third quarter results three months ago, and many investors believe that they could duplicate this same momentum. However, I personally am a little skeptical. I do not hold this company in my personal portfolio because Roku is still posting very large losses, and this loss is anticipated to widen, so why would I invest into this company right now? However, they do have a very strong momentum, and that's why investors need to be aware of this company. If Roku can keep their positive earnings up, this will add more momentum behind the stock, causing their share price to absolutely explode after they release earnings on Thursday afternoon. The expectations for the stock are very high, and I personally am skeptical if they can meet or live up to the hype, considering that their share price has jumped by 135% over the last 12 months. And if they can deliver upbeat guidance for the year of 2024, while also bringing in a very good earnings report, yes, we could see the company even go higher in their share price. But in the meantime, I am rather skeptical, and I just can't wait to watch to see what this company actually brings in. However, when we consider that the company is already up so much in their share price, a pullback is inevitable. However, I do wish investors in this company the best of luck. To round out the video, let's talk about upcoming earnings on Wednesday. And we are going to see companies like Cisco Systems, Energy Transfer LP, 
Occidental Petroleum Corporation. I don't know who wrote this, but they have a clear typo because it's not accidental, it's Occidental. And then we have a Twilio as well as a lot of other companies which are anticipated to release earnings. Clearly, I'm going to be paying attention to companies like Twilio Energy Transfer LP as well as Cisco Systems, but I would love to hear your thoughts down below about any or all of these stories. And make sure to pay attention and keep your eye out for these companies which will release earnings very soon. But don't worry, I'll have an update on that. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories. And with that being said, I wish you the best of luck, happy investing, and I will see you in the next YT video.